We're going to apply her foundation and I like to apply my foundation before the concealer. Um, you see she has a little redness in areas so I'm first going to correct her redness and I like to use this Makeup Forever Color Corrector. It's green in color. When it goes onto the skin, it doesn't go on green. What it does, it neutralizes any I redness. Not. <laughs> Definitely not. Mm -hmm. And it neutralizes any redness that you have in your skin. Mm -hmm. And this is such a great product. Um, and it's also a primer. So we're going to apply this with a small brush. And we all always have like redness around the nose, kind of in the interior of the cheeks and around the chin and mouth. So I like to just, again, we're dabbing it on first. Any redness that you see, and you're gonna use your finger to pat it in. So we're patting in the product, we're not moving it around, because when you move it around, it kind of leaves the area which you're trying to camouflage. So we're just gonna pat it in. So again, I have Makeup Forever, and I like to use two different colors because what I like to do is to contour and highlight with my foundation. Um, it just makes everything that much quicker. Mm -hmm. It blends very nicely, and um, you know you have a really nice kind of dimension to the face. Mm -hmm. So I like to start off with my darker color mm -hmm. because when I apply my lighter color on top, it blends in really nicely. So, I'm going to apply the brush, and I have um, Makeup Forever's HD foundation. I started using this in Los Angeles when I was on set, and I find that you can build the coverage. So you can start off with a very light coverage in the beginning, um, and then you can build and build and put several layers to make it like a more... Uh, matte, uh, sorry not matte, more opaque mm -hmm. finish. But we're not going to do anything too opaque because you have beautiful skin to begin with. So you can see the foundation is a few shades darker than her skin tone and I work it into the, the hairline. And I'm using my beauty blender and I blend it up into the hair because we don't want any signs of uh, difference of complexion so again I'm just applying the darker color into the hollow of the cheeks and this is the contour The difference in colors, difference in tones, and then we're working it down the neck here. Okay, and then we just blend it in and blend it in. And we're going to go over with another layer, but for now we're just kind of blending it in. And again, the cheekbone. And then around the jawline. Okay. And then we're going to run a little bit of contour down the nose. So I like to bring it from the eyebrow down the nose. In the eyebrow, down the nose, and this just creates shape and contour to the nose. Um, even when people don't have like a larger nose or um, imperfections, I still like to contour because it just gives definition and it always just gives a better look to the face overall. Now we're going to apply the lighter color 
and I still have a little bit of dark color on my hand. I'm just gonna blend it in together. And I like, first of all, to conceal with a foundation before using an actual concealer, because a lot of times we don't really need to use a heavier product and we can conceal with the foundation and it just makes it look lighter and more natural. So I'm gonna apply it to the lids of the eye. and work it in with my finger, patting in again. And remember, we haven't really applied any product to the center of the face. So we're gonna apply that, tap it in, and just blend it all in together. Okay, look up for me. So, as you can see, Sasha has a little, a little bit of visible dark circles. She's a busy single mom, so <laughs> we should forgive her for that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color correct it. And you can see the dark circles just disappear. over again with our lighter foundation. So the center of the face, we're gonna brighten up the center. And then the chin here, and we do go over the lips, give it a nice base. And just tap everything in together, bring it up to the waterline of the eyes. Then blending everything together, and then I'm going to apply where well, we haven't applied foundation yet. And there we have it. So, this is how we contour with just foundation. So, you can see it's adding dimension. She has a nice defined cheekbone. We have some brightness around the face and everything is all nicely blended. <laughs>